60,000 babies a year born in New Zealand and we pretty well screen all of them. They just come in and do it and you assume that you're never going to hear anything about it again. I remember thinking, oh, this is going to be fine, she'll be fine. The midwife came in and explained it to us. I kind of went, oh yeah, it's cool, she won't have any then, but better do it. All the blood cards from all the babies over New Zealand come by courier to us. They come overnight, every night. It was a real sort of shock because you think your baby's utterly perfect. It's a grieving process I think when we first first got diagnosed. It was just a huge shock, you know, you've got a brand new baby, everything's going to just sort of hit you. Yeah, so 20 minutes, morning and night. So it's just helping to loosen mucus and move it away from his lungs. he would have sort of just started having seizures at six days old and possibly died. Everyone thinks you're not going to be the one in a hundred thousand or whatever, but screw the statistics when it comes down to it, we're that one. What's your favourite one? Um, this one. Cross country, I got first place. We've got three boys and he's the baby. And he's... No, I'm oh, not. Oh, sorry, you're not a baby. I'm a big boy. Congenital hyperthyroid, or CH, affects about one in every 2,000 New Zealand babies. It's a really good disorder to pick up through newborn screening because early treatment is simple and changes the intellectual outcome for these children. No, he was New Zealand's only uh, geneticist. Way ahead of his time and he was uh, he was a great person. Oh, gosh. Arthur Veal and I built one of the machines and we actually assembled it in one of our bedrooms. <laughs> we would be one of the first countries in the world to have a 100% coverage national programme. Natasha has just been awarded the Dussault Medal of the International Society of Neonatal Screening for the Best Young Investigator worldwide in newborn screening. So lucky that the heel prick is around actually because it picks up these things that you need to get onto them really, really quickly. If it hadn't been picked up, then he would have development problems, he would have growth problems, he would, might have um, mental disabilities. <laughs> Probably one of the most important things you can do for your baby. Amazing that we live in this country with this facility because if it hadn't been picked up, well, it would have been like, I suppose, years down the track and then we would have really noticed she wasn't meeting milestones and she wasn't growing. Well done. It's nice that we can get to take her out a bit more. If it wasn't for the newborn screening, she may not have made it to her first birthday. That test is everything for us. It gave her the best chance of success in life.